Burlington Coat Factory, which is weird because they don't have a ton of coats or anything. But maybe they do. This one's empty. This one's full. I know a lot of you guys say my stores all have compactors, but a lot of the stores have dumpsters too, like this one. So even if you look, you might see a dumpster enclosure like off to the side and they might have some stuff. Himalayan pink salt that has a slash in it. I don't know what I could use salt for other than, like if this would work in Steve's um, salt gun, this would be great, but the pink salt doesn't work. Let me think about it. What else can I use salt for? Um, I'm not gonna eat it, obviously. Put it right here. Maybe somebody, another diver will find it that doesn't mind or doesn't care. I know salt doesn't hold a lot of bacteria and stuff, but I got plenty of salt at home and I don't need any. Now we came here yesterday, so I know how far down I looked. So I don't have to look all the way because I kind of can see what was new. Oh man, it's gonna be a mess. I've gotta close that up. But I need to see what's in this box. one of these at home it had a uh, something broken in it too but this little plant in it is cute so I'm gonna take that out but it smells good they're like a little thing that has a scented thing inside Ooh, even better the little plug that's cute this one doesn't have a plant Oh, I got two of these. Okay, this box. It's got what you used to have something broken in here. It was a cute little glass jar with a foam marble lid. Okay, on to the next. They're pretty good about just putting just trash in here and the recycle stuff. Ooh. All right, it looks like, oh, it's a pretty nice tank. Ooh. Big tank. Wow. What's wrong with it? We might have to take this. It doesn't look like it. I don't see a trash or break. So these slide in. I don't see anything wrong with it. That would fit the whole way. It's great, we're gonna take that. Steve's already emptying out the car. Sweet. Okay. Full aluminum mesh to screen top. Okay. really nice if we donate it it'll be nice to have this with it but um it might go to amanda steven took the last one yep 
but Amanda might want this for the kids. Okay. I smell a stinky, stinky cat box. Let's look at this. Nothing wrong with this one either. Wow, it's stinky. This is really neat. Let's see what we get. More of the accessories. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll probably take this one too. But let me see what else there is first. I see a cat box back there. Maybe that's what's really stinking it up. It's smashed really bad. There's cat litter. It's all smashed up too. They wouldn't keep the cat litter, even if it was used, and just use it in the store for their pets. But maybe they want them all to look uniform. What is this machine? What is this? Spray paint? Did this come from Bed Bath & Beyond? Oh, it was a KitchenAid something. So yeah, that came from Bed Bath & Beyond. That's why it's spray painted. It's just a display. Okay, I can't get back here because these things are in the way. Check it first. Oh, it's too heavy. Okay. this and then we'll go on to the next yeah okay we um called our donation places are weird i think people donate too much around here but we called um goodwill they're not taking donations right now yep and so we called um our salvation army which they're full right now so we're at savers i usually show when we donate stuff because it causes too many people to complain but we're actually at Sabres because it's right next to where we are and Steve's gonna yeah. just drop up those tanks if they'll take them. If they won't, we might have to wait until okay. um, maybe a, one of the other places yeah. or the pet place, oh. like the um, thing will take it, so we'll see. Oh, she wants us to take it around the back. So anyway, don't judge where we're donating. We have no use for it. It goes to anywhere. That... I gotta go around to the back. All right. Because it's so big. It is big. So we're going around to the back, and the only place that we found in our town that says no scavenging. And in any town we've been in. Yeah, that's true. It says no scavenging is at our savers in the back. They yeah. won't let you dumpster dive, um, and they specifically say no scavenging. Yep. <laughs> Which that's is funny because they're taking stuff that people are donating. We're taking stuff from dumpsters and giving it to them, and they um, they don't want anybody going back there and digging through their stuff. So that's funny. But everything Ironic. else, it, they just don't want you dumping. They don't have an issue with the diving as long as you're not making a mess or whatever. But yeah. So back here in the back. See, look, no scavenging. But back here, this is where all the big stuff goes, I guess. So um, they're going to take it, though, so that's awesome. Okay, so as far as donating, your house is going to be packed if you're a dumpster diver. You will just become a hoarder if you keep everything. <laughs> so we try to donate on the way home if we can, like in this case, or if we're near a place, we get something big, we'll just go donate it somewhere. We don't have a specific place we always go to. It's like um, situational. If we're near one, that's where it's meant to be. So that's kind of how we look at it. Um, we do have certain ones that like when our um, assisted living, um, not assisted living, assisted living, when our assistance league was open, um, we had specific things that we would always keep and hold for them because we liked them so much. Um, but usually it's convenience. Whoever is open and will take something right then or what we're next to, if our trunk is full, like with those huge tanks, 
they had to get out of there in case we find something else. Yeah. And we don't want to go home with them, take them out, put them back in, and then it takes up the whole trunk, and then we can't, you know, donate something else. So we try to donate on the way home if we can. So our whole thing is we won't dive, and we won't take things if we don't say, okay, we have a plan for it. It's not coming home with us. We're donating it. It's got to go. That way we grab more stuff. If oh. you try to take everything every time you go out, then that means you're just holding it at your house. That's what I told them. You're going to become a hoarder. That's, yeah, it's not good. You got to have a system. Mm -hmm. So, and you got to use common sense. Like sometimes you just can't take everything. Our priority is stuff that we bought and need to sell versus stuff that we find. So, might as well bless people with stuff if we can find it. It goes to a good cause um, where we donate stuff. So, that's awesome. That's yeah. great. We so, donate everything. Yeah, we donate almost everything because a lot of stuff goes it's, to the kids it's really or pretty much everything yeah like pretty much if the kids want something they've got to where they don't they say no now because like just now with those tanks so much stuff and they know there's more stuff coming so they don't want to clutter up their house yeah so it needs to go to people that can actually use it but if you're doing this to make money even if you're doing this like when we first started doing it it was a uh, some people brought it up and asked us to try it we tried it it was an our goal our goal was to see how much can extra could we make a month and and we shared videos of that and, and we were easily making two thousand dollars extra a month yes. not even not even trying no but it's if you're now so there's nothing wrong with that and a lot of people we have people contact us and said they started doing that too and they're doing it helps them a lot yeah so do that yeah but even if you're doing the selling you have to have some kind of system to where, okay, if you're doing yard sales, if you're if you're listing on eBay, then that means you got to you need a place to store it. Yep. Because you're going to find so much stuff, but you need to be turning it over. And so, say you give it a week, you should go and donate everything that you didn't sell. Yeah. Don't fall in love with items. Like every so often, you'll come across a bunch of brand new widgets, and you're like, oh my goodness. And you'll see that they're selling for this much before but if you can't sell them they're they're worth zero if you can't sell them meaning you're putting it up on local apps you're trying to sell a yard sale and nobody's buying it donate it that yeah. means that your market does not want them but doesn't mean that somebody else can't use them don't let yourself get blinded by oh i can make this much off of something unless you go once a month and yeah. you don't mind hanging on to it but if you're going to do it regularly you need to turn that stuff over. You know, donate it, sell it, whatever you're gonna do. You need to do, do it constantly. And if you have an addiction like I do, and you just love the fun of getting out of the house and going and dumpster diving, then you get your fix. And you know you can actually just donate the stuff, be done with it. You don't have to worry about, oh, how am I ever gonna get rid of this? The whole garage is full, all that stuff. Okay, so if you're selling stuff, awesome. Don't shame people for selling stuff. It's, it's great. We have done it so many times in the past. It's awesome. And some people make a living doing it, and it's fantastic. I love it. That's so great. Um, on, but buddy. if you want to do the diving and you don't want to do the selling, just dive to donate. It's so fun. And um, it makes you feel good. You're saving stuff. Something's getting a second life, a different, you know, opportunity to not go in a landfill. You know, it gets one more shot at it. And you have an adventure. Yes. And I know there's people... There's people that watch, they do that. They go out every so often and they just find something and they donate it or they give it to their family and friends. Yes. And that's good. Yep. This isn't for everybody, but there are people that are gonna enjoy the excitement. They're gonna feel good about donating it. There's people that'll enjoy the excitement and they also make extra money off of it. Yeah. There's people that are getting food doing it. Like it's a, it's an adventure. It's not for everybody. No. Nope. But if you are going to do it, especially if you're doing it casually, you need a system. Trust me. You do. You definitely you need do. You have a system. And you, you can't get married to stuff. It's got to go. Mm -hmm. It's got to go. So. Because tomorrow anyway. you'll see something else that looks, oh, this is amazing. This could do all this with it. You get too much stuff. And we certainly aren't saying you got to do it like we do it. Do it no. however you want to do it. Whatever's best in your area or whatever you want to do or what suits your life. Or if you just want to watch, that's awesome too. Yep. But, um, you know, just take a peek. As we say that all the time. You never know what you're going to find. And most dumpsters, don't be discouraged. Most of them have nothing. Like, um, you just won't find stuff. And some days you'll score a ton on the one day. It's just yep. weird. And it's not a specific day every month or anything like that. There's, at least in our area, 
in our experience in the last few years doing this, there has is no sort of method to anything. It's just like whenever somebody brings the trash out, that's when stuff is. Or they decide to, um, manager says, okay, we're clearing out this section and this has to go. It's so weird. It's just random. And so you never know. Um, there isn't a specific day that's best. The best thing you can do is just make a little log and find out what days the trash run so you don't yeah. have to bother. But that's the thing. Trash runs, they still bring trash out that day. <laughs> and but you do want fresh. to know that. So you either beat the trash trucks or don't waste your time if they yeah. already ran until later, if you're going to go in later. Yep. But yeah, you got to figure out what works in your area with... And another thing is like, if there's a perfect time, we don't know it. We go no. when it's convenient for us. Like, we don't let this dictate our lifestyle. Like, we have things we do and then this happens when it happens. Whatever time it is, we don't look at that. We just go. We definitely don't go at night though. Most divers do. Yeah. After the store closes, that's their best time to go because all the trash is out and um, after all the employees have left. And there's not there aren't people around and stuff, but we sleep at night. It's not appealing to us. <laughs> yeah, like if it if that was something that was appealing, we would do it, but mm -hmm. it's not. So but and we have tried it a couple times, not in the middle of the night, but like after dark and stuff, and it's fine. It's um, no big deal, but... Just not part of our lifestyle. No. We seem to find stuff during the day, so might as well be able to see. And, um, you know, it's not... I don't know. It's it's nice being able to see when you dumpster dive. Yeah. Without headlamps and all that stuff. Um, I don't know. It's just fun. We just do it whenever we're out and about. We don't have a specific day we go or days we go. And we don't have specific times. On Enjoy your next. life! I'd recorded that okay Steve told me to get in hurry get in so I threw the thing turned it off got my grabber it got stuck in the <laughs> lid couldn't get it out and I knew with the panic in his voice he was ready and so I, I saw get him in the in car the, my rear view mirror like we see police all the time look at that oh we we see police all the time but this guy I, he turned in real fast and he was hauling butt coming towards us and we've seen a bunch of police right here right now I don't know what's going on but it was like a sheriff yeah. and um, he pulled up he looked just like my best friend Erica's husband exactly yeah. like him and he said hey what are you guys uh, doing is everything okay and, and we told him yeah and he said you sure you're not dumping because that's the big said, problem no. we have in our well everywhere I guess California is huge like there's on all the dumpsters it says no dumping it's actually yeah that one they they strictly Lawrence. enforce but uh, there was somebody over there. Okay. But anyways, he and then we talked to him for a while, told him the type of things we find, and I, I think what it was after talking to us, he really did realize that we're doing what we said. We're yeah. not, we're not sneaking around trying to dump stuff in there. And he said, "Do you guys ever find anything?" And we told him, "Yeah, we found tons of things. Yep. Like I was at, it was at Petco, and he said, "Have you ever talked to the store about?" stuff that they throw away and we said we have actually we've donated hundreds of leashes and things like yeah. that that you find but um we talked to this store before that was and a, some time ago yeah a long time ago and we actually after they we talked to them animal friends of the valley which is our local shelter yeah. we saw their trucks pulling up to the back or a truck a couple times pulling up to the back of um their store and they were bringing out like dog beds and stuff yeah. so, so i don't do. know they do, this store I think does it. Changed their policy. They still throw some things away once in a while, but they did yeah. They did change the policy there where they're at least helping a local, um, like a local rescue or. Yeah, like at that one, we were finding new stuff that they were throwing away there. And we don't, haven't found, it's been locked a lot lately, but we haven't found um, much new stuff. It's usually customer returns that you find and they probably just don't donate that stuff or assume somebody would want it. But like say they pulled, like we've seen them take dog beds like armfuls of dog beds and handing them to them so they maybe they were discontinued or an old model or something they were clearing the shelf and gave it to them which was awesome that was crazy okay 
On to the next. On to the next. This is, as you can see by the red spray paint, Bed Bath & Beyond. Looks like, I'm gonna see if that's back there. Maybe the trash guy didn't pick it up. Ooh, this is a nice rack. Hmm. You want this rack for anything? Scoot up a little. It's a nice little garage rack. We have a billion racks in the garage. Somebody else can grab it. Oh, here we go. It's empty. A solar. for your dash or whatever, but I use them for other stuff. I just realized what these are for. These are, I think, these you peel off and stick on the back of a rug, and then this would go on the floor as a rug gripper like this, so your rug doesn't slip around. That's so smart. What a great idea. I think that's what these are. I'm not positive though. And these, remember that one I said I had one of? Right here? Well, I'd already stolen that and stuck it in this little plant here. Oops. Steve made me these little concrete things. Um, but anyway, I could put this in one of these. But I say these little succulent type things because they're cute in there. And then this one will go in another one because I've got several with nothing in them or candles or whatever. But fun. I can't believe I figured out what those are for. It's perfect like this. It could go in here if I took these out. Cute. All right, on to the next. This one I put a little candle in. Stick these in here. My house is getting filled up with um, plants from dumpsters. <laughs> it's so funny. All over. But nice. On to the next. 